So I did a video last year about my kind of on-flight essentials and a couple of you asked me if I could do a kind of more in-depth review and talk about how to look and feel kind of fresh um, when you're flying. Now I haven't ever flown a really, really long haul flight, so I haven't ever done like a kind of 12 hour flight or anything. The longest I've ever been on was six hours, which isn't too long at all. But I do nonetheless take a lot of products and really make sure that I hydrate a lot and take care of my skin when I'm on the plane because I feel like even if you were just on the plane for three hours, it really, really wreaks havoc on your skin. So I like to kind of come prepared. Case in point, this is my on-flight bag. Um, you have to make sure, by the different airline regulations obviously, but you have to make sure that everything's in a kind of plastic Ziploc bag and that nothing's over 100 mils and combined nothing can be over 1,000 mils, but I'm sure I'm okay for that thing. So I'm gonna kind of talk you through what I've got in here and the purpose of everything and then a couple of other bits as well. So first of all, to start off with, I would wear uh, makeup to go to the airport in just because I kind of feel like um, I'd, I'd, I wouldn't go to the you know, supermarket without makeup on, so I would wear makeup to the airport just to make me feel a bit more awake and to make me just feel a little bit more um, put together, I suppose. But when I get on the plane, I would make sure to take my foundation off. And what I would do is in this little bag here, I would keep some face wipes. So I've got here the Olay Essentials Wet Cleansing Wipes, 12 of them. So I'll take a small pack of this and once I get on the plane, take my face makeup off. I'd wear waterproof mascara and I wouldn't remove my mascara. So that's um, the kind of removal process. Then I would go over my face again with a micellar water and what I've done is I've just taken a little bit of my regular water and popped it in this little kind of travel size um, bottle. This is like a 100ml bottle. So I've just put a small amount of that in and a couple of cotton wool pads and then I'd just take a cotton wool pad, swipe this all over my face and take my face makeup off and then my face will be kind of nice and clean. Then because my skin gets very, very dry, I like to take a kind of hydrating mist. And this is the Simple Kind of Skin Moisture Boost. And I'll take this and just spritz this on my face to kind of trap in any moisture. And um, then kind of make sure, like I said, I've got no makeup on my face at all, just my uh, mascara. And then I would put on a kind of hydrating treatment type of thing. I was using the, I want to say Elemis, but it's not, Dermalogica. Um, I think it's called like power recovery or something like that face mask but um, I've decided to take this instead because it's kind of a dual purpose product and this is the Clarins Beauty Flash Balm and what's so great about this is I'll put a big thick layer of this on my face and it really traps the moisture into your skin and it just leaves your skin looking really glowing and lovely and I'll just keep that on my face kind of thing let it sink in and just sit there and keep spritzing my face again with the toning mist just to kind of keep everything nice and then I would apply some eye cream as well this is the um, Clinique all about eyes little sample pot I'd keep applying this in my eyes I wouldn't put mascara on my lower lashes only on my top lashes because I feel like there just wouldn't be much point it wouldn't really um, make that much difference so I would only kind of do it on my top lashes just for a little bit of definition I don't wear tons of makeup when I go to the airport either I kind of just do the absolute basic essentials that I would need then uh, another thing that's really important to make sure you've got with you is deodorant because no matter where you go you feel disgusting on a plane. You always feel kind of sweaty and gross and nobody wants to smell horrible so deodorant is an absolute must. This is the Dove Go Fresh Pomegranate and Lemon. I don't think I've ever tried this one actually. Let me spray a little bit. Mmm, that smells nice. So yeah, a good deodorant is a must. As is hand sanitizer because again you kind of get sticky and gross. This is the Primark um, hand sanitizer. It just smells like bubble gum. I always have one of these on me just to kind of clean my hands and make sure everything's nice and tidy. And then in terms of kind of other little bits and bobs, this is a great um, lip balm. This is the Philosophy in a Stick, and I actually got this when I flew um, first class last year. And they gave us kind of a little bag, and the bag that you got given had Philosophy products in. So I've got a couple of these, and this is so so lovely. It's really moisturising and just smells gorgeous, and would just really keep my lips nice and hydrated. So that's that. Then I've also got a little hand cream in here just because my hands can get really dry and I like to kind of just put hand cream on and I kind of use it as an opportunity to kind of just do things that I wouldn't necessarily normally do because you're just sat there for six hours. So this is the Ren um, Hands and Body Cream. I'll just put this all over my hands and that's um, kind of keeping my hands nice. 
Then I also always take my little Travelo because I want to kind of freshen up during the flight and before you get off the plane. In here, I filled it with my Marc, De Marc Jacobs. Marc Jacobs Daisy Oh So Fresh fragrance. So I'll just kind of spritz this on a couple of times and I feel like I smell good. And then once I've kind of been on the plane for a little while, whatever I'm doing, reading or sleeping or whatever it is that I'm doing, I would um, then kind of start getting ready to get off the plane once you kind of reach that point. So the first thing I do is go and brush my teeth. I've got this little travel size toothbrush. Again, I got given this from the first class flight that we went on. So I've got a little mini toothbrush. I wouldn't keep that in that bag because there's no point. I just keep it in the little pouch. So um, my little mini toothbrush and I've also got a little mini toothpaste in here that came with that. But you can buy all of these in like Superdrug or even the supermarket. Little small one of those to just put on my toothbrush so my mouth feels nice and clean. And then I would kind of start to just make my face look a little bit more presentable. So I wouldn't kind of go all on foundation because I feel like when you're tired and your skin's kind of a bit weird looking, which it always is on a plane, less is definitely more. So I've got the um, Murad Skin Perfecting Primer, and this is just a tinted primer. And this is a really great tip to take either a tinted moisturizer or something like that. I would take MAC Face and Body, but um, it's so liquid that I don't feel comfortable putting it in a pot. I think it just could end up in disaster. But this is really sweet and it's tinted and you can just smooth it all over your face and it'll make your skin kind of look very radiant and just pick it up a little bit. And then obviously concealer, I've got some concealer in here because that is an absolute must. This is the Collection 2000 um, concealer. An absolute essential for under eye bags and I'd probably put some kind of under my brow bone and just kind of make my skin look a little bit nicer. That's essential. And then in here I've also got my powder and I've got the, what powder is this? The Miner's Fresh Face Powder. I take this with me because I like to just be able to kind of pat this all over my skin and it's something that a lot of people kind of might not bother doing um, with powder but my skin gets really really and powder doesn't necessarily have to go in the Ziploc bag anyway you can normally put it in your regular bag and you should be okay um, regarding kind of airline regulations so I have to take that with me and then I've also got a little cream blusher because let's face it blusher always makes you look more alive and this is the MUA blush perfection in scrummy and I'll just put a little bit of this on my cheeks to make myself look a bit more awake and then finish off with a little bit of um, lip kind of tint. I've got the Maybelline Baby Lips in here, if I could get it out, that is. Yeah, I've got the Maybelline Baby Lips in here. Um, this is just the cherry one, I believe. So just to kind of touch up, and then you're looking really fresh and awake and um, feeling a little bit more human, because let's face it, flying really, really does take it out of you. But that's what I would do on the flight kind of thing. Get off and your skin will look nice. And that's kind of my main tip, is to keep your skin hydrated and to make sure that when you kind of get off the plane, it's very tempting to slap on loads of makeup. Don't do that, it just has a reverse effect. You apply kind of sparingly and kind of nice brightening products and it will look fine. You'll just kind of look fresh and natural and you don't need to go for kind of an all out makeup look when you're flying. So those are my top tips. I hope you found this helpful. Definitely let me know what your top tips when you're flying are and how you make yourself look presentable on a flight. Um, don't worry if anyone looks at you weird, whoever you're sat next to, just ignore them. People always stare at me and <laughs> think they're probably thinking, what are you doing? But I don't care because I want to look and feel nice and I enjoy doing it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.